fever broke. <sighs> Thank God. I was so scared we were going to have to take him back to the hospital. Yeah, but this won't be the last time that he has to see a doctor, though. And I mean a real pediatrician. We can't sneak him in and out the hospital every time he gets sick. If we're going to do this, we got to do it legally. Go through the proper channels, file for an adoption. You mean going to the police? And risk him being taken away from me? <sighs> you guys ready? I don't know. Are we? No, no, don't. Oh, I should grab another blanket. Oh. How is this going to work? Oh, uh, well, <clears throat> first of all, we need to tell my dad everything, OK? He can get child services involved. We can get the details about when and where this baby was abandoned. And hopefully, someone will come forward with some details. You mean the parents? Well, uh. If the parents haven't filed for a missing persons report, they probably won't now. The kid will go to foster care before being declared Happy. abandoned. Then we can work on the adoption procedure. Exactly. I should feed him first. <clears throat> OK. Yeah, it's a good idea. There you go. I'll uh, just pack all this up into the car. Well, let me give you a hand. Thanks. to a motel to figure out what I should do. And Natalia found me there the next day. Natalia knew about the baby? Yeah, but Jessie, don't be mad at her. She was the one who convinced me to talk to Frankie. She wanted to go to the police right away, but I just, I couldn't do it. He's, he's so beautiful. Yes, he is. Hi, gorgeous. Hey. Listen, I don't want you to worry, OK? No one's mad at you. Frankie's going to be mad. We were on our way to the police station. We were going to take him in, but, but then I heard them talking. Frankie and Natalia said that there was no way of ever adopting him. That even if the parents never came forward, I'd never be able to have this baby. Randy, there is nothing wrong about falling in love with a baby. I mean, it's how Cass came into my life. And I know how you're feeling, that he was meant to be your child, right? Dad, we... Don't ever scare me like that again, OK? I want you to see if there are any identifying marks on the baby. For the report, birthmarks, scars. Ah, uh, here, let, let me take a look. Hey, handsome. Hey, hey. Let's take a look. I'm sorry, I panicked and I ran off like that. But Frankie, I love him so much. I know. And it's okay. But you have to promise me that from here on out, we're in this thing together. No one gets to run out on anyone. It's so hard. I know, but you you brought him to the right place. My mom and dad will know how to help now. They already have. All right. Maybe it might be best for you to stay here while we take him to the police station. What? Why? Why, you said you understood, Angie. You said you understood the connection that I had with him. Sweetheart, I do. But even with Cass, I had to go through all the legal stuff. I mean, checking to make sure that she really had been abandoned, meeting with social services. Look, it, it, it's not easy, and I had to stay strong. Now, right now, you may not be in the best shape to do that. Wait, Angie, please. This 
got to be another way. Andy, we can't keep this a secret anymore. You know that doesn't work. No, please! Come on, come on, we agreed. No, you can't! Hey, you can't! Hey, we have to. to. No, if you take that baby, I swear! I swear, I'll tell everybody. I'll tell them what I did. Randy? I will, Jesse. I'll tell everybody that I killed Henry North. What? What do you mean? You killed North? Yes. And your father helped me cover it up.